actually going to let you guys talk first. Then I will talk a little bit and then I'll let you talk again. So what I'd like to start with is I'd like for you to tell me, each of you in turn, what you're rocking in your business right now and then what you're struggling with or not struggling, but what's the challenge for you right now in your business. So I'll start with Heather because I'm looking at your little phone thing. <laughs> me? Yeah, you. Okay. Um, let's see. Not really rocking anything except for yeah. trying to accept my failures okay. as good things in my nose. I've gotten three nose this week. Good job. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's probably it. Um, and then just reaching out to people kind of cold out of the blue like we talked about. Yep. Um, yeah. So no, pr no, nothing exciting has come of it, but it's okay. It takes yeah. work. It takes time. Um, and what about, <clears throat> what are you frustrated with or what's challenging to you? Mm -hmm. uh, probably the nose still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and just not like my list. I've gone through my list. I need to get a bigger one. I think, um, cause I've gone through everybody. So I'm kind of out of people to re re out, reach out to. Um, so just kind of, I need a bigger pool of who to cast to, I guess. Okay. And do you have, um, are you adding friends to your Facebook every day? Yes. Okay. Good girl. Hold on. Just let me get my girl. Yes. Can you ask Daddy to help you gently get some of this off your face? I don't know. No, I want you to use some lotion. So go ask Daddy to get some <laughs> of my face lotion in there. Or, listen, or some eucerin and get that off. Or some Vaseline. Okay. Um, so, um, okay, so you're adding people to your Facebook, so that's good. The thing about, the thing about, um, you know, messaging people it's awesome because you have to do it. You have no choice. You have, you have to do it that way. Um, yeah. I guess sometimes the um, hard part of that is is that is no use some Vaseline or some use or something. Um, is that um, you know people they they may say no now, but it's because they don't know you and they don't trust you yet. And so yeah. And even if they know you really well they may not trust you in that role in their life. And so when you do that, when you message people, the way that Facebook works actually is when you message people, those people will automatically see your um, stuff, your feed. So um, that's your opportunity to gain their trust. And so if you okay. message somebody today and then you say, okay, I'm going to, they said no. And then maybe in a couple of weeks, you reach out again and say, hey, just checking in and not beach body, just checking in. I noticed on your Facebook page that you and your daughter went to the lake. Hello. Hope that sounds like fun. Um, <coughs> yes, Tanya, when you personal message people, Facebook picks it up and they will see more of your posts. That is true. That's a Facebook. Oh, okay. So. Um, so it gives you an opportunity or <laughs> them an opportunity to, um, <clears throat> it gives them an opportunity to learn, to trust you, to, to watch you and see what's going on in your life. And when you follow up with them the second time, you know, it doesn't need to be beach body. They know you're a beach body coach. They know what's going on. And, you know, you just follow up with them with just a, hey, I noticed you went to blah, blah, blah. That looks cool. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Done. And then maybe you don't hear from them. And then maybe in two weeks you reach out to them again and say, hey, just wanted to keep you posted. We have a really great deal going on right now in um, Beachbody land. And I just wanted to share it with you just in case you might be interested. And just in case this might be a good time. Or, you know, something like that. That way, um, you know, you've given them a little bit of time to kind of see what you do and how, what your life's like and who you are. And maybe that way they gain, um, some trust with you. Okay. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's not a bad thing, but you, okay. you need to be doing some sort of personal development. I would recommend, I think you're reading, you are a badass, right? Yes. I just finished and I have a 
pack of books. I haven't decided when, which one's my next. So I'm I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the slight edge. I have it somewhere in my house, but I can't find it <laughs> because I haven't unpacked it. <laughs> but I'm looking for it. If that's something that's interesting to you, um, I'm gonna read it at the same time. If you want to pick that up, um, okay. So um, my other thing, probably, and which I just thought of when we were when you're talking, is there's a one of the biggest isogenics networks is here. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I've been running into the most, probably of, oh, I think I'm going to try this. And I can send them what I, what I have, like, oh, well, this is better because of X, Y, Z. But that's probably another frustrating thing that so many people are on that bandwagon right now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I feel kind of, I, I don't know, I don't want to sound competitive or like mine's better than yours, but without being obnoxious, that's kind of what I've been trying to do. Sure. Okay. So a couple of things with that is that number one, isogenics is very big here too. Um, and number two, um, <laughs> isogenics is a glorified carnation instant breakfast. It has the same yeah. ingredients in it. It has the same protein source in it. And you can get carnation instant breakfast for 15 cents a serving. <laughs> so <laughs> I have, I have, I don't tell people that that's rude. Um, but I just tell people who are isogenics people, I say, I just want you to give it a try. Let me send you a couple of packets. Let's do that first and let, and let you compare it. The reason why is because if you can send them a packet and they can put them side by side, which is what I recommend to people, do the, do the work, do legwork yourself, go look at it, you know, go put them side by side and, and you tell me which one you think might benefit your body more. Put yeah. it in your court. And so, you know, that's the thing that their, their packaging doesn't even have what's in it all the time. Like their vitamins don't even say what's in them. Oh, their, their stuff is crap, but yeah. It really is. But if you put like, well, I've looked, I, I was at a friend's house one time and she had so funny. She had $3,000 worth of isogenics boxes, 10 boxes of $300 boxes that she was getting once a month that she was not even touching. And I'm like, return them. And she's like, eh, I'm just gonna let them sit here. She's like, but I want to do your stuff. And I said, well, let's, let's look at it. I've never even seen one. I've never put my hands on it. I've only looked at it on, online. So we opened up one of the boxes and we started looking through her stuff and we had the Shakeology and we put it next to her and she was like, oh my, what am I thinking? Yeah. And it was quick and easy. And then she's like, well, okay, I've got texture and taste issues. So let me taste it. Let me check the texture. I'm like, go for it. I have no problem with people saying that because nine times out of 10, they're like, blows everything out of the water. And the reason why Isogenics tastes good is because it's got crap in it. I mean, it doesn't taste good because it's made well. Like ours tastes good because it's made well. Right. It's different. And I do, the other thing I tell people, I go back and forth with this woman who's really into isogenics and she, <clears throat> about once every three or four months, she will message me and say, how much is Shakeology again? And I'll tell her. And then she'll say, and what are the flavors? I'll tell her. And I say, gosh, Dee Dee, just grab a couple of samples and or packets and try it. And she's like, no, nah, not right now. I'm like, okay. And this has been going on for two years. Okay. So one of these days she's going to switch over. Oh God. But she asked me the last time she asked me, she says, how do they compare? She used that word compare. And I wait for people to say that because I don't like to compare products. And I tell people, I don't like to compare Shakeology to something else. Here's why they're apples and oranges. You can't compare it to something else. So I can tell you what's in Shakeology versus what's or what's not in yours that is in ours, I can tell you that, but I can't compare the two because they're not the same thing. There is nothing else on the market that does what Shakeology does that has what it has in it, nothing. So when people say, can you compare this and that, you can, I always say, no, I can't. It's their apples and oranges. Our product is nothing like your Isogenics, your Thrive, your other piece of crap. None of it is. And so, and so I, but I love the opportunity to say that. And I, I should, I should copy and paste our conversation um, from Facebook from the other day. Cause I think it would be really interesting for you guys to see. She still hasn't bought it. She still hasn't tried it. Um, but she's still talking about it. So I think it's just kind of funny cause she reaches out to me all the time. <clears throat> well, all, every quarter about once a quarter. And, um, but I never reach out to her about it. So I might do that just because I think y'all get a kick out of it. Um, but anyway, so 
she, um, but I tell, I told her that the last time. And then I said, I said, do me a favor. She said, do you have it a side by side comparison? And I said, no, you can't compare them, but I can show you the isogenics and I can show you the Shakeology and I can show you the ingredients list. And I would love for you to look at it. So she did about two days later, she gets back to me and she's like, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. She said, that's pretty fabulous. So the next time I'm out, I'm going to talk to you again. Good. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of how you approach that. And, it, and it's not just isogenics. It's, well, in Texas, it's plexus. And I know Nikki. Advoc Advocary and plexus. Okay. So, so, <laughs> okay. So it's super, super, super important for you guys to go look at the products online go look at what your com competition is if they want to oh, both of them have shit oh my gosh advocare has artificial color artificial flavor, oh yeah artificial Ar sugar. advocare has nothing yeah. in it it's worse than insurer i mean i've oh, looked yeah. at it. i agree you i I've, agree it's it's wor it's terrible it's terrible but i i highly recommend that you guys go out there i don't even recommend i'm telling you I never tell you anything. I'm telling you, I want you guys to go out and look at Advocare, whatever's in your market. You know, we don't, Plexus is not real big here. It's really big in the South. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, Rachel's on the call and I don't, she probably doesn't come across Plexus, do you? She might be doing it. Uh, no, I've never heard of it. See? But I've, Neither. Um, I've done Advocare. I didn't realize that it was, had such bad ingredients. Oh. You've come over to the light side. Um, but I would like but, for you guys to look at that stuff. Look at Advocare. Look at Thrive. Look at Aloha. Look at... Um, well, Thrive. Holy cow. You know how much stuff they have to take during the day? My one, my one patient's mother does it. That's terrible. But it look, is. Look at the things that people say. Like, look, when somebody says something to you like... Oh, well, what about blah, 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 go look at it, really, really research it because it's going to come up over and over again and everybody's markets are different. And Rachel, our market here is, um, Advocare, um, big isogenics and then Beachbody. Those, that's really what people are using and, here. Um, and what is, um, I've been seeing a new one lately. Ideal. Oh, ideal. I mean, ideal. Go look at it. Ideal protein. What, IP. Is that with any of those companies? It's not. It's their. It's it, it's their own. It's Ideal Protein is its own company. Um, go look at it. I I would like you to go look at that. I had a customer who switched over to me from Ideal Protein, um, and and boy did she see a big difference. Um, go look at it. I, I highly recommend it. Their protein source is completely different. And it's mostly milk based, um, and and every it's it's a it's a it's almost like a, a Weight Watchers kind of thing where they have their own food. Kind of like, I mean, uh, kind of like, well, Advocare has their own food and so does Isogenix, but they have like their own bars and their own and wafers and you kind of eat those things during the day. Um, and you don't really eat real food so much, but yeah, go look at that is big here. I forgot about that. Um, that gets pushed through some of these extreme gyms like uh, CrossFit and GOAT. We have this place here called Goat. Get out and train, but it's like a, it's just a <laughs> um, But that's where that stuff's getting pushed through, or, or those places. Yeah. So um, all the CrossFits down here. What about them? They do what? I Advocare. Advocare, yeah, yeah, and that's big there too. And you know, I think it's, I, just, I think it's just interesting because those people are so into their nutrition, but then they'll eat something that's just absolute crap. crap. Yep. So, um, so back to Heather, really, really research your market. And so if you have isogenics in your market, I want you to look through all their stuff and I want you to be able to talk intelligently to the people who do use it or who are comparing so that you can, you can turn them over to the light side. Because if yeah, that's really my challenge pack that I did last week was a person who has been doing isogenics and <gasps> that was kind of just what I did, but she came to me. So it wasn't like I was reaching out to somebody and being like, hey, your stuff's kind of shitty, and would you rather try this? She, she really was one of those saying, hey, this deal. is kind of shitty. Can I try yours? But that's a really big deal. I mean, that's huge. When you have somebody who has another system that they think is working for them that all of a sudden doesn't or they realize it's crap and they turn over to you, 
that's, that's a big, big deal. That needs to be celebrated and talked about. So that's a huge deal. That's a big, really big deal. I mean, that's a conquest for lack of a better word. <laughs> that's a big deal. <laughs> so yay. You get the queen cat for today. You have to wear a tiara. Um, so yay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Nikki. Um, actually doing well. I've talked to 25 people on Facebook messaging. Um, some are, some I've already talked to, some are new and just kind of more on, um, just kind of doing what the communicating, the reconnecting, the, that kind of stuff. Um, frustration. I'm not, I, I refuse to get frustrated anymore. Um, I, I take the nose, enjoy them and because my body, my beach body business will not grow as quick as some of the others. I know that. I just, I, I know you hate here in limited time. I don't. But, but I truly do have limited time with trying to, even with the stuff that you and Chris and everybody post, you know, I'm driving. I, I drive between my patients. So trying to make sure that I can kind of look at things while I'm also listening is, a little more difficult and then when I come home we're making dinner and then I'm trying to do this physique competition so I need to actually exercise a little more to try to get that done and um, but I'm trying to get as much as I can done and uh, it'll get there I know it will and I just keep plugging away and um, you know some of them I've, I've, I've given samples or you know we got samples to people this week so I'm uh, pushing as much as I can in a properly, politically correct way. Right. Very good. <laughs> and, um, you know, so if I get two, fantastic. But I'm, you know, of course, I'm trying to get five. And yeah. so I've got, like I said, I've, I've got 25 in the last three days, four days. So I'm trying to get 50 by the weekend okay. and go from there. And, um you know, I'm still trying to get organized with trying to do a damn, what am I going to post the next few days? But I always comes down to it and it's like, okay, oh shit, what do I got to do? <laughs> you know, what am I going to do in the morning? <laughs> I'm looking for a pen. Uh, things we need to talk about as a team. Oh, dang it. So, um, but, I, you know, I'm working it and um, I'm going to get with Tanya probably after the Super Bowl, and we're going to try to work on putting a fit group down here together. I love that. In the woodlands, and, um, you know, just looking forward to trying to do things together and with people. You know, it, it's much easier to do it with somebody. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Than by yourself, you know, and find ideas. But I just keep keep, keep plugging away, and I just try to look at the Facebook post before I do a message. Because I kind of like Boris Tersinovich that graduated with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, actually lives in Milwaukee, Wisconsin now. Well, I was born in Kenosha. So he's not 20 minutes from where I was born. So you're connecting with people on yeah. a level, which is yeah. awesome because that's what this is all about. Exactly. So that's what that's how I'm kind of personally messaging, not as much saying I'm, hey, I'm doing beach body. But just trying to personal message them so that maybe they'll see my posts a little more or see this or do that. That's awesome. And, Love it. So. Fabulous. Yay. So, and I, your that's attitude, where I am. Your attitude's great because you're not, the no's aren't bugging you. You're just like, eh, it's fine. Just keep moving. Yeah, it, you know? It's got to be. It's got, it actually has got to be. You know, my year's coming up in um, April. Okay. But, you know, what I made last year from... April, well, the end of April, beginning of May, but I'm happy with what I made from there to there. It paid for Shakeology for the whole year. Yeah, you know that's hey, big deal. That's, that's a big deal. Yeah, it is. A lot. It is. So you know, it can only go up, and I'm not going to stop. And I just I enjoy doing it. It we'll just see where it goes. But I, you know, I am pushing it to go further. I am pushing to be diamond, diamond, star diamond, and then, you know, see where it goes. But yeah. I just can't do it as quickly as other people because I really do have to do, you know, six, seven kids a day to do my lifestyle right now. Of course. Yep. Yep. I don't know who posted this, but I think it might have been Shay, but, but um, 
it was from Becky Robinson, who's a coach. I don't know if anybody else follows her, but she posted her month of what she was going to post, um, oh. the whole month calendar the other day. And it's a good that. one. I meant to repost that and I didn't. I meant to put it in our coach group. Dang it. <laughs> okay. I will do that. <laughs> I will do that. Please. Like, yes. Yeah. That it please, was really please, good. Please. It was very good. I agree with you. Yeah. Thank you, Heather. Um, okay. Uh, Tanya. You're mute. I'm unmuting her. <laughs> okay. Better? Yes, much. Yeah. Better. So struggling with, um, I feel like I kind of lost my momentum a little bit, but I think my energy hit the wall this like past week. Um, and then I had a lot of stuff going on in here, like ideas and things. And so when that happens and I'm trying to, wear too many hats or do too many things at once. And it's even with my biz with the business, then it kind of overwhelms me and shuts me down. Yeah. So, um, I watched a really good video on the, in the bombshell dynasty training on your calendar oh. and how like work your calendar. And that was real helpful for me. I actually watched that today. So who was it? Way to was it Anita Meyer? What? Was it Anita Meyer? Abby? Yeah, Anita. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that that actually is a phenomenal how to plan your how to plan your month. I posted that in the mm -hmm. um, I posted that when the in the um whatchamacallit? In the training, right? I did, didn't I? In our training. On our page. No? I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't hit all your training. I'm it's so sorry. It's, it's okay. It's it is the bombshell dynasty training. That's what it is. My yeah. training is there. Okay. It's the same thing. Um, I just might be in a different spot, but that is actually really good. That Anita Meyer in video is very good about how to plan your month, but it goes back to what Heather was saying with that calendar that, um, got posted. So I'm going to put that in our, I wish I had a pen. I can't find writing implement. Um, Use it in your phone. Text it in your phone, in your notes. Good. I'm a high tech girl. That's what I do. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not either. Um, okay. So okay. that's one of my challenges my other challenge, so, so that's how I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to sit down and plan out my month, and uh, that's going to help me a lot to start sorting through the stuff in my head because I get a lot of ideas and stuff. Um, the other challenge is the inviting. I'm still kind of – I'm still kind of um, not doing that. And – I think I heard, was it Heather say something about just a, a cold invite or something like that? Mm -hmm. That whole, yeah. I mean, I know it's an opportunity for growth for me and I know I have to get better at being personable, but I just don't want to be. I just want to go, hey, what's up? I've been doing this thing. You want to do it? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you do kind of have to start slow with people. But you know, the other thing too, I think is, and I think this is super important is you have to be who you are. Mm -hmm. Period. And if that's who you are, then you need to be that way. You don't, you can't, you, you cannot consciously do this decision with, I mean, this business with a good conscience if you're not being yourself. Right. So if, if that's who you are, then that's who you are. And if they don't want to follow you, then haters are going to be haters. Right. You know, so you have to be who you are, you know, and I mean, that post I put up today, I don't know if any of y'all saw it, but I put up a post today. It's probably the most skin I've ever shown on Facebook. And I'm like, I know, you go girl. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, either people are going to hate me or they're going to appreciate it for me being 44 years old and for being comfortable with my own body. Mm -hmm. I, I like those sure. sexy little bun pants. Skin. Yeah. What's up? Me. Me. I like those sexy little bun pants. <laughs> yeah. have no you look amazing. Oh, thank you. But, but that's not why I posted it. But I just, I was like, I was nervous about it because it's not, but it, it's taken me so long to be able to, this is who I am, you know, and I'm, this is who I am. And y'all are just going to deal with it. And I, I don't really care anymore. And I used to care, but, you know, and I think, I think you, you really do have to be true to yourself because I've heard other coaches talk about trying to change their top coaches who try to like mold their, the way that they behave um, with, 
into somebody else who's successful and then six months into it realize that they're in severe depression and all this stuff because they're trying to be somebody they're not and yeah. it's not okay. I, Shay does a really good job with that. So does Amy Silverman if, either, if anybody follows her. Both of them are like 100% I don't give a flying ass. If you like me, this is who I am. Shay is yeah. one of the snarkiest people ever. Love but it. that's just how she is and people love her. People And some people hate her and that's okay. Yeah. She doesn't care. She's just like me, whatever. <laughs> and I love it. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's she's a also a millionaire. <laughs> right. Exactly. So she's doing something right. Um, she's so smart. Oh my gosh. I just, she's so smart. Um, we're in this group called the next level leadership group, which is eight 15 star diamonds. Um, Shay's one of them, but it's eight different 15 star diamonds and they talk to us twice a week. It is unbelievable. And all these people are so, themselves they're so who they are and they're not apologetic about it they're just and and some of them have talked about you know I'm not going to be somebody I'm not it was Anita Myron actually who was trying to do something that wasn't that didn't work for her and it did work for her it got her to where she was but then she fell into a really deep depression because she couldn't keep up with it Mm-hmm. And she's like, don't do it this way, you know, do it this way because I've tried this and it, it, it messed, it messed my whole life up. She was a 15 star diamond, but she was miserable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think it's really important to, to be who you are and, and, and be, um, and, and, and not be apologetic about it. I'm starting to get friends that are, um, not people that I know very well because I'm friending friends of friends. friends, of friends. So you know, I know I have to like start to kind of like like their things and get them to know me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand it. But people that I know, I just want to say, hey, this is what I'm doing. I want to see if you're interested. Maybe it's for you. Maybe it's not. And then see what they say, rather than spend time, you know, coddling them in foreplay before I, you know, stick it to them. <laughs> you know, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> But that's what I feel like I'm doing. I feel like I'm being manipulative. And You're not being manipulative, but at the same time, you do have to allow them to gain, to have time to gain trust in you, mm-hmm. to be able to put something like that in your hands. Yeah. Right? Okay. Did you, talk about, did you talk about what's going good in your business? Right now, yet? No. Okay. Um, that's good. I, I feel like I've kind of, I mean, I'm still working. It just feels like the momentum stopped. So I don't know. Maybe it's just because. Um, so what's good? Oh, I got a new coach. Oh, woo! That's real good. Yeah. So so it's, the momentum hasn't really stopped. I think it's, it's the the self talk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna let Rachel go. We only have ten minutes left. How'd that happen? I'm sorry. I didn't realize we had another person on the phone. I'm sorry. Yes, one more person, Miss Rachel. Yeah. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm, hi. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck right now. I haven't really been doing much. Um, I'm just super tired. I just feel like I'm overworked, have too much on my plate, um, and I'm three months pregnant. And um, Ooh, I congrats. Bar- <laughs> thank you. I barely work out. Um, I'm at least drinking my Shakeology but I'm not eating great. I was in such like a good place until I got pregnant and I'm, I don't know, like, um, so I'm just not feeling good about myself. But, um, the good news is that I signed on a new coach recently and I am seeing, um, in my bank account that, you know, I'm at least paying for my shake all each month. And that was kind of my, my first goal getting into this business was just to have that. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, obviously it would be nice to go more. I just need to push myself a little bit more. And, um, so that's where I am. Well, good for you. That's awesome. It's really, you are, you're pregnant. So my gosh, give yourself a break, right? Um, you got a coach and you got a coach. That's huge. That is huge. So the cool thing about um, about that is, well, there's a couple things. So um, number one, you are in a good spot, Rachel, because you have an emerald already on one side. 
So that's really the hardest part of going diamond, I think, is to get an emerald on both sides. Okay. So you're in a good spot because you've got Lindsay who isn't slowing down. I don't think she'll lose her rank. She doesn't want to. So um, you've got to have it. What do you, you have to, you get to have a, yeah, that's true. You get to have a great, that's very true. Um, but um, you, you, you're in a good spot in terms of rank advancement because you've already got Lindsay who's on one side and is in an emerald and I think your husband's on the other side. Is that correct? The opposite of Lindsay? No, it's um, Aunt Monica. Okay. Either way, you have a family member who you can control their account. So, you know, if once you start... No, I don't, I don't actually have that. Well, Monica, right? I don't control her account. No, but you could put coaches under her and make her an emerald if you wanted to. Yeah, I kind of, I'm waiting for my mom to request her DD214 papers. Oh, right. And I'm going to do that with my mom. But she needs to go on the opposite side of Lindsay. Right. So she'll go on the Aunt Monica side. Yes. Okay. So you're, you're in a good spot. You're in a really good spot. So, you know, as you add coaches, you know, when you get four and four, you're going to want to make somebody on the opposite side of Lindsay emerald and then your diamond like that. So, you know, by adding coaches, the way that you're at the rate you're going, you're doing awesome. And I was telling you about Stephanie Cook. Stephanie Cook in the refinery. She's a five star in the refinery. She went from one star to five star. Well, one star to five star from the time she got pregnant until her daughter was a year old. So that she took that time of, I feel like crap. I'm tired. I'm exhausted of like downtime. She used her downtime when she was tired of feeling bad and all that stuff to build her business. And, um, Super successful that way. So when you do have downtime and you're sitting, I don't have downtime. I was just gonna no. say that I, mean, she, I, I a, like she, knee deep in my master's program. I want to quit, but I'm not going to. Yeah, and I'm a teacher, and everyone knows teachers don't work 40 hours a week. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what I'm like driving myself crazy. Oh, and I have a one year old. So oh my gosh. Yeah. So if anybody says they don't have time. <laughs> Yeah. Talk to me. So, you know, well, when, when your customers or potential customers, I don't have time. <laughs> like, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> really not having time. Um, because look at what you're doing. Um, but don't, you know, there's no hurry to do any of this. But you have a, you have a very strong little business and you have a very strong coach on one side of you. So, yeah. That's fabulous. Um, I'm so happy that you found her because you found you you found your you. That's what I say. You know, like my big goal in the next like six months is to find me. I want to find a me. You know, and I may have already found her. It may be you, Rachel. <laughs> it may be Heather. I don't know, but I want to find a me. That and so you kind of found your you in Lindsay, and so that's pretty fabulous. Um, but you know, one of these days, and I feel like I feel like both you, Rachel, and Heather, um, can be the me. You know, like I think y'all have the potential to do that. So it's just a matter of me being a, a leader and being able to lead you guys to that um, place. And that's something that I'm working on. So y'all know that's that's my challenge, actually, with the positives and the negatives. It's not really a negative, but for me, that's a challenge is to lead you guys better. And that's why I'm doing this little leadership group is to learn how to lead so I can lead you guys to get to where I am or past me. I don't care. Um, but, that's my, but that's my struggle. Um, and then, you know, so that's what that's what I'm working on. And I, I work on it every day right now because this next level of leadership thing, they kind of give you a really hard time if you don't participate, kind of get in trouble. So uh, <laughs> I know. And so I'm, um, I'm uh, working really hard um, to become a better leader. So that's what, that's what I'm working on. That's my big challenge. And I'm doing what Nikki's doing. I'm messaging seven to 10 people a night um, and uh, 
and working on building up relationships too. So that's something that I'm working on. But I think you guys are doing great. I think every single one of your struggles are very valid, whether they're time related or no related or I had a wall related. <laughs> um, they're all very valid um, reasons and struggles that all of us deal with. And I think the key is to push past those. But the only way you're going to do that is to be able to know what your why is and really the reason behind your why. So you can have a why, but you got to have a drive behind it, right? So I think it's really important. I'm going to talk about goals next week. So in the next two minutes, um, I'll just tell you all real quick that um, you, you have to have a vision behind your why. And I'm going to talk more about that next week and about setting goals because I want us to all set goals and post them in the coach group for the year. Um, I haven't done it yet, so I'm just as guilty as everyone else is. I usually set my goals in December, and I'll, I was moving, so I spazzed out and didn't do it. Um, so we're going to set goals, but we're also going to talk about the vision behind your goals, and that's really what fuels it. The goals don't fuel it. So having a goal isn't good enough. You have to have a vision for your goal, and you have to be able to say, okay, if my goal is I want to be a diamond, then you have to say, what's it going to feel like when I'm a diamond? How's it, how am I going to feel? Am I going to be excited? Am I going to talk about it all the time? Am I going to wear a different, different clothes? What's, what's it going to feel? What's it going to look like? That's a vision. And that's something that you guys need to start thinking about to fuel your why. And so over the next week, I would love it if you guys would start to think about your why and then, and then craft your goals around your why and we'll talk more about it so you don't have to set your goals but I would like for you to think about your why but then put vision behind your why and be able to say what does that look like and why do I want to get there so be curious about your why but why is that my why why what good is that I want you to question yourself and I want you to be intentional about it and the next week we're going to talk about vision and goals and then the week after that, I'm going to have you guys share them. We have an agenda. So um, we're about to get cut off. So um, I will try to figure out how to post this. In the I say that every week and I keep not figuring it out because I'm a spaz. Um, but I want you guys to think about that stuff. And in the meantime, any questions, anything, message me, put it on the coach page, um, text me, I don't care, box for me a verb now. Um, but I think y'all are all doing great. I'm super proud of everybody and um, let's just keep going. And like I said, I want a vision. I want your um, why and your vision behind it for next week. Yeah. Good. Do you want us to post that like soon? No, you can just before next week. <laughs>